And we'll talk you through the last heat of an incredible day on tour. Yago Dora coming in with the heat of a big win in Brazil, taking on Baron Mamiya. My name's Paul Evans, joined by Richie Lovett. Mate, how good has today been? Oh, today's been one for the record books, if you ask me. Just uh, incredible surf, incredible surfing. Numbers in for Kanoa, 5-7 for him. Doesn't go in his top two, that one's such a speedy wave. Able to really unleash that hard to go up the range. Meanwhile, here's the smooth approach of Mamiya and swings on a rail. It's so polished from him. He'll get some cover of his own and emerge. There he goes, Baron, onto an inside section. And again, on the rail, just swinging those shoulders around. And a mistake from him on a wave he really wanted to finish. He went a long way down there for an inside. Goes incomplete. Another fall. We've seen this happen uh, with Baron, unfortunately. You want to be building points, finishing with a with a positive uh, blast right at the end. But um, geez, he got some good work done in the opening stages. Tucks in a little tube, smaller inside wave. So when you think of the potential scoring uh, that this wave had to offer, uh, and re I'm really enjoying the way he's developing uh, his career on the championship tour. We got an incredible set marching through the lineup now. Good looking entry here for Yago Dora on the backhand. Whip sharp from his first turn, another big hit. Look at the spray from that, so nicely timed. And again, as he goes vert into the pocket once again, another stinging hit from him. Then he'll just open up the body here. The wave will run away, he'll pull in. Have a look at this set as it stacks up. Yago Dora, he got the first one. Big swooping turn on the backhand and a second, really extending and carving out of the lip. That one a little bit tighter. Hooks it under, gets a, a more acute direction change. Streaking down the line here, and unfortunately just got locked into that closeout section. Let's pick up at the back, Baron. What's he got here? As he'll go with that swoop, putting the arms back behind him and laying it on the rail, forcing the back foot and then quickly transitioning straight back to the front foot. And again, it's nice and polished from him as he uses the rail just to carve. He'll get a lip hit and try and wiggle his way back onto the face, which he does pretty well here. And again, another finish. This time, he's good enough to hang on. Yeah, that was great to see uh, Baron complete that ride. Unable to do it. And Baron, well, the disappointment for falling, basically, on his last wave. Did well to wash that off. Yeah, he did. I love that double grab layback. Just uh, really just grabbing onto the wall with both hands, wrapping the board around. Comes through to the inside, nice and patient. All the way through for that final hit. Gets to the completion, so he'll feel good about that. And uh, real opportunity here. Him to make it through to finals day, but you can see it's a different... You compare uh, Baron's style, a little bit wider in the stand. Behind him, Yago Dora. On the backhand, we've seen some beautiful backhand surfing here at J Bay today. And Yago Dora, he's showing us uh, what he's got here. This wave just a little uneven through the lip, and Yago just needs to uh, stay with this one. Now he builds up the rhythm. Great finishing turn. Check out live action. Here goes Yago. Got himself a wave that stands up nicely for him. Look at the release he gets off the tail. And again, just stabs that one. Super vert. Quick couple of pumps off the bottom, and he's just relentless, just stabbing away, tagging this thing, forcing the board up through the lip, mixes that one up a touch, and then opens up the bottom. Yeah, great looking wave as we look uh, from down the point up. And again, that driving, accelerating turn for Yago Dora, the second one, tighter in the pocket, always keeping that speed going down the line. He did well to manage four turns. In a short amount of time there, now he gets a bit of free space to open up again. A quick hit to finish. Meanwhile, here's Baron right behind him, swinging. Mamiya dealing with the white water from Yago's wave. And up into the lip, gets a little caught there. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, just makes it really hard to ride when it's got that foamy face to it. Six turns on that wave on the backhand. Geez, I've been so impressed with these goofy footers today. And this is Baron Mamiya outside. So uh, did Baron have priority in this uh, exchange? And picking the second wave, perhaps thought it was going to be a bigger, a bigger one outside. But unfortunately, just the, uh, the whitewater path. 
Really allowing surfers to be patient and aim at sections and go hard and really express themselves. When it was smaller for the early rounds, a little racy and rapid. A chance for surfers today to really go out this. Here's an opportunity for Mamiya. Nice turn from him. Good muscle in that as he swings down and again. So fired himself up here. What's he got for us? Another big wrap off the rail. It's clean. He gathers it and opens up again. Just a little release in that one. And then he'll get into a tube with no real prospect of making it out of that. Just pulled in. This was a good looking wave as he took off. Way up the point. Stays high. Now drops down into the bottom. And a vicious carve to start things off. Another layback hit. Directs it down the line. Another beautiful wrapping turn back into the power source. Now he just stays patient. Another snap here, and unfortunately this wave just stood up in front of him. He didn't really have much choice but to pull in and unfortunately closed out on him. But a great look here at the technique. You can just see how much aggression he puts into those turns there. That front foot way up on the board. Not much space up the nose there. And I think this is actually a step-up board for, for Baron as well. And that unique... Uh, technique where he tucks his back knee in so watch it here comes right down tucks it in sometimes almost touching the deck of the board and he brings it down and gets really low there it is there and just uh, really had no option and if you can have your equipment completely dialed in and, and feel good about your, your boards. And that all comes with the warm-up surfs and all the stuff that happens before you actually put the jersey on. Real glassy face for Yaga Dora to do damage to here. First hit from him, then a drifty one. It's so smooth from Yago. You know, just knife one off the rail, off his heels, again into the lip. It's so vert from him. Look how precise he is. Just tagging that one, throws a little extra as well by releasing that tail. His surfing is looking brilliant, Rich. Yeah, it is. It's looking nice and smooth, not rushed. Using that backhand approach to get nice and vertical. Here we go. Love this angle again. You can see nice and tight in the pocket. Pivots off that back fin, tags that little section as it presents itself in front of him. Now he starts to wrap it up again. Bang, tags the lip again, comes through to the inside. Not such a great view from Baron Mamir when he finds out about that score, if it's an improvement. But meanwhile, he'll stick to the task ahead. He's got a nice looking wall in front of him here. And he's not too rushed as he comes into a great section. He'll hit that with polish. Just nice and controlled and stylish. And he'll go and push on a section there. Never really particularly committing his body to that turn, Rich. And anything is provided thus far. He's having a look here, and there's not much behind it. So here goes Baron Mamiya into this wave. Entry for him. Off the bottom, pushing, just swinging, tucks that knee in. Gets the angles done. And then pumps out of a floater down to the flats. Big turn from him. Big hack. Buries the rail. Really nicely done. Releases the tail. And he ain't done yet. A little quick stumble for him there. Recovers really well, though. They'll have to let this section go because you never know what can happen here. There could be another set as you get back into the lineup. But that turn there, beautiful, great slice to open things up. Lip glide floater comes around this section here, aggressive turn, buries that heel side rail, gets up, another snap. And it was right at that moment there where the fins just disengaged for a millisecond and he lost that forward momentum down the line and that set his timing off. Beautiful slow-mo action here. And there's that, uh, that trademark knee tuck that he's got. Boxier sort of stance here, which is generally more stable because a wider stance, but, um, you know, big rail gaff there. So a lot of power and energy in each and every turn. And that there, that was a lot of flair in that one. And then just on that bottom turn, just a slight slip up. Yago Dora has looked so composed in this, hasn't really done anything wrong. Just a quick throw away for him at the beginning, and other than that, he's built through his scores, looking so polished and in control. And here he goes, he'll just bring this one onto the inside here. 20 on the clock, opens up, just stings his first turn, and again into the lip, and not pushing overly hard on this wave thus far. He'll be patient, and again, 
Another nice backhand snap from him and realising he doesn't need to overdo things there and it'll be frustration for Baron and Mir at this wave and particularly in the context of what we've seen go down today but well done to Yago Dora who's keeping the fire lit from Brazil bringing it to South Africa and he's looked great value for the victory in the last heat of the round of 16. Crowd still in full voice.